Hey there, Dale. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing pretty peachy. Happy Tuesday. Yes, November 5th, election day. Go vote. Yeah, <laughs> some people are excited. I'm fairly excited to exercise my right. Others, maybe not so much, but let's change the conversation before someone gets upset. <laughs> uh, Dale, what's going on with interest rates? That that chart does not look friendly. No, it, it really doesn't. It, it's, it's definitely an anomaly for sure, because as we know, uh, the Fed's reduced rates and they were already baked into the market, so we didn't see much improvement. But overall, we had some nice improvement over the last month and a half, and now rates are going back up, and it's it's volatility, it's uncertainty in the market. It really is. Yep, that, that's the just the best way to say it. And uh, one thing I want to bring into your attention here is we've mentioned it in quite a few other videos. We've talked about the spread between a 30 year and a 15 year rate mortgage. And you can see that we had narrow gaps and then all of a sudden it just widened. And usually this is an indicator of market hopes and perceptions of what's actually happening. Because if 15 years is a safer bet, they're willing to take more risks on which direction they want to do. So they're going to offer better incentives on a 15 year on average, but if it widens in the gap, it's usually a good indicator that the 30 year is going to follow. And that's what we had when the Federal Reserve announced their rate cuts. We had a almost full percentage point difference between the two. And as you can see, that gap is beginning to narrow. So yeah. uncertainty has entered the marketplace for sure. Absolutely. And we know there's another cut coming on the horizon. However, interesting that rates are still going up, knowing that that cuts in place. Yeah. So it, it truly is uncertainty in the market. Nobody really knows what's going to happen. We just know it is not what we'd like. Yeah, and I want to uh, forgive me if I explain something to most of you viewers that you know, but I think it's worth mentioning that if you are always asking yourself the questions, why is it that the Federal Reserve cut interest rates yet we're having this rise? You have to remember that's one factor of a bajillion that actually right. controls mortgage interest rates. Inflation probably being the number one, but Fed monetary policy, it's not the be all end all, but it's a great indicator for the floodgates what's going to happen next so yeah, it, it's it's one piece of the puzzle exactly exactly so what's actually happening on the daily basis well here's our mortgage-backed security chart green and up is good red and down is bad and boy we've had a lot of red and down um a couple things of note here and dale feel free to chime in on this but We've had fairly small motions most of the time in these last few months. But as you can see, the last couple weeks, we have had huge leaps and bounds. Take a look at the solid blocks on these Japanese candlesticks. They're not only bigger generally, but the candlesticks themselves, huge swings to the up and then huge swings to the down. What's going on, Dale? Well, again, it's all uncertainty in the market. Um, it's it, what's interesting to note is you see the little padlocks on there. Mm -hmm. That's basically when sources reach out to us and say things aren't looking good. You might want to consider locking a loan. Yep. And notice that you know a month and a <laughs> half ago that there yeah. was a few here and there, but but it was all floating, 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 hoping for betterness. And then in the last two weeks, it's lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, because it's it's not looking good. And that doesn't mean it won't get better. It will at some point, but who knows when? Yeah, it really gives credence to the fact that you never know what's going to happen with interest rates. And we can add it again to our list, Dale. We really thought we, we didn't express it too much, but we can definitely add it to the list of we thought they were going to cut rates at the beginning of this year, and then we were told May, and then we were told July, and then we were told September, which ended up being kind of true. Right. And now here we are. 
Uh, wrong again. We the market uh, just you cannot predict these things, so don't no. let it make your decision on if you need to buy a house. Right. Absolutely. So, all right, Dale. What's the best piece of advice you can give someone today? Go vote today. So you may have or you may think that voting for the president is a foregone conclusion. Your vote doesn't count. That's all well and good, but there's lots of local races, lots of supervisors, city council, initiatives on the ballot. So go vote. Have your voice heard. Yep. All right. Well, Dale, thank you as always, and I'll catch you on next week's. Hopefully with all right. See you later. (laughs) Bye. Bye.